Welcome to today's guided daily prayer. As we pray together, I'll read all the texts on the screen. However, this guided prayer service is also designed to be prayed out loud together. So when the words are shown in bold italic text, I encourage you to pray them out loud with me. If you prefer to use a printed version of these guided prayer services or to use them in some other setting, you can download them online at hopefornyagra.org slash daily prayer. Let's pray together. Daily prayer for the second Friday of Advent. Let's gather for prayer. God of hope, you call us from the exile of our sin with the good news of restoration. You build a highway through the wilderness. Watch, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Let's pray together. Lord, open our lips. Our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's confess our sins together. Were I to imagine the punishments all my sins deserve, I would fall into despair, O Lord, my Savior. I have disobeyed your high commands, wasting my life in extravagance. Wherefore, I beseech you, cleanse me with the showers of forgiveness and strengthen me with fasting and supplications. For you alone are compassionate. Reject me not, O bountiful one, whose goodness exceeds every measure. Amen. A reading from Psalm 80. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock. You who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before your blessed children. Stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Let's pray together. 
Help us, dear Lord, to prepare for your coming with the urgency and care that we would were we defending our homes against an enemy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Defend us, deliver us, and in your compassion protect us, O Lord, by your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us not fear the darkness, O God because our hope is in the light of your presence in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, for sending your Son into the world that the world might be saved through him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Protect, Almighty God, those who travel on land, sea, or air, that they may be kept from harm through your loving grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Heavenly Lord, that you bring your guidance and wisdom to the leaders of this nation and other nations of the world, that they may be led into understanding and cooperation instead of hatred and war. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us now, O Lord, as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus the Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. Now go in peace.